What's up guys, Tim Austin with Drag Boss Garage. And Zeus is here in the house today. So he's gonna be in this video. He doesn't say much. He walks softly and carries a big stick. So this is just a quick episode to kind of give an update of where I'm at. I just got this box from Precision Oil Pumps in California, Doug Griffo. Uh, I ordered three of the oil pumps, the high volume oil pumps, that's what I run. One of them is going to Billy Ray Morgan in California. He's building a high, high ported Pro Stock Cleveland. If you saw that episode where he came here from California and picked up the parts, he's building that. I think what I'm gonna do is send two of these pumps to Stuffs, Fabrication Specialties. Now, that's who's building the oil pan. I got the drawing, here's a picture of the drawing. I'll put it up here, you can see the, the plan we have for it. It's pretty cool, I can't wait. The issue with the oil pickup on theirs is he said that they usually weld it to the pump, which makes it if it's time to change a pump or the pump goes bad, now you got a, a whole different ball game you got to deal with. So I may send him two pumps and have him set it up for two pumps in case there's a problem. I don't have to send the pump back and get one replaced. I was going to use this on another project, but you know, Doug Griffo will hook you up with an oil pump that's blueprinted. And here's what we're going to do while I'm here. You know about my failure with a pickup that broke, which is basically from vibration, I think. Um, we may put a strap on that stand from Steph's looking at it now to see if he needs to. But he's never had a problem with a Cleveland oil pickup. We'll put it that way after they've done a pan for somebody. But I told Doug Griffo, I'm, this is one of his oil pumps right here. So I want to take it apart. I want to see how blueprinted it is or what it looks like inside. So he said, yeah, take it apart on camera, make a video. And if you guys need a pump, you talk to him. He also has the billet oil pump drives for a Cleveland. Um, oil pumps for all engines, beside the point. Uh, also a stud kit. So I ordered those. I, I don't even know what's in this, but let's see what's in this box. Because it's going to make a difference. Make sure we got everything that I'm going to send it on. Make sure that everything in here is nothing that I have to have. And I can just send it to Steph's because they're waiting for it now. Let me show you that 351 Cleveland billet oil pump drive. You know, people thought that had broke on the car, but that's not what it was. Good sit, so it was good sit. And then the stud kit here, which is ARP receipt. Let's see what we got. Now, I had bought two oil pumps off of uh, Marketplace. Actually, these are the same boxes. They were manly oil pumps, but they're really just melling high-volume oil pumps. 1099 was the manly number. But we know the 83 HP. Good boy, good sit. Now here's Doug Griffo's blueprinted oil pump right here. This is how it comes. So he just sent it back in that box. So I'm going to send both of these right to Steph's. All the gears inside are coated. I think he sort of Molly. They got a coating on them. They're all deburred, all measured perfect, all passages radius cleaned up. Yeah. For the price of it, it's a no brainer, boys. Try to go through that on your own, which you can do. It's not a difficult procedure, but it's worth it. You know, you got to look at time. It's cheaper to buy it and have it sent there and keep him working, keeping us supplied. And you wasted easily probably six hours to take a pump apart, clean it up, and put it all back together, or change a spring, go through all that. Get it the way it is. I don't even know what they cost. They're on his website. I'll put a link for it here. So let's go ahead and tear apart this oil pump and see what it looks like inside. So I'll just kind of give you a quick update since I'm making this video. <clears throat> the, my crankshaft is fixed. I think it was 700 bucks from Adney Brown at Performance Crankshafts in Michigan. Thank you, Adney. Actually, I gotta call him right now. Um, that'll be shipped to Bob Beach. That engine's all ready to go. What we're doing is all we are doing with that 409 Cleveland is putting new rod bolts in and new coated calico bearings. The rods are 10 under, I think 10, and the mains were standard. So I'm not changing anything. 
not buying new rods. Bob told me they cleaned up well. He said, you don't need them. He's 82, he's been building engines for over 50 plus years. I'll take that chance. Enough of the details, let's kind of get back into the video and tear one of his pumps apart and see what it looks like inside. I'm telling you, Zeus is the best dog, aren't you? My boy. Deal. But, yeah, this is going to be a cool update type video and informational type video. Right here, before your very eyes, is the brand new oil pan I got from Steph's Fabrications. Thank you, Stan, who hooked me up with everything. We'll show you kind of the backside of that in a minute. But it's basically, to tell you the truth, the same pan as the Moroso steel pan. A little bit lighter. There's no doubt about that. Inside, you can see... There's a trap door back down there that kind of keeps the oil from going backwards on the launch. This thing really doesn't have any kind of real trap door. But I, it served me well. These pins have served me well for 40 years, man. So I moved up to this. And one of the things I had them add to this is the bung in the back, which is going to be from an oil temperature sending unit. So it's pretty cool. Thanks guys, I'm, I'm excited to get this back on here. They also had cut a notch in here. You can see it right through here for the steering linkage to come down through. On this particular pan here, I don't know how he fitted it, but the way it sets up, the linkage comes right here and just rests right in this little area with about a quarter inch of clearance all around. Never had any issues. So we'll see how this goes on. Hopefully. It Pain free. So kind of to catch you up to speed with this 409 Cleveland, the one that I've been racing and it's had a best of 932 with a 125 60 foot time. <clears throat> it's running just a wet sump with a nine quart pan. And that's what that new Steph's pan is, is eight plus the filter. So nine quarts. And that's what I've always ran in that Moroso. Now here's the pickup here, the oil pump, the Cleveland oil pump and the pickup. And you know, it broke off, vibrated, broke, cracked, whatever. Harmonics, done, took out the motor. Now this oil pump I got from Precision Oil Pumps in California, Doug Garifo. So he's hooked me up with it. And what we're gonna do is actually, we're gonna take it apart and look inside it. But on the last part of this video, I had showed you that I had bought two oil pumps off Marketplace, Manly Oil Pumps, which are really Melling oil pumps. <clears throat> I sent them to Doug Garifo. He sent them back to me. You see, they were all finished, all ready to go. I sent them to Steph's along with my old oil pan. Now what Steph's did is I had them build me a new pickup, obviously, for that pan. And how they do things is they weld the pickup right to the pump. Now this is a Melling high volume pump, that's what I run. The pickup is right welded to it. There's no adjustment, nothing. With a nice huge screen setup, man, that's huge. Now the tubing here, I moved it up to 7 8 tubing. I got that from Gerald Brand, from Brand Racing Engines. You see his videos. He told me that with this size tube, you're not going to starve nothing for oil compared to that three-quarter inch, which is like this. And you can see it's kind of torturous. So now, one thing I will tell you, I bought another one of those oil pans, and here's the pickup that broke on mine. And I got this from Chad and Kim Perry. Now, if you look right here, you can see a wear mark there. Now, whether they used a pipe wrench to tighten it there, any way you look at it, that's a scary part. They ain't gonna be on there. I'll have a new pickup made or something because I know stress rises in that area. So I'm not gonna take any chances and go through that again. And while I was at it, stand at steps, I said, you know what? Make me another pickup, set up an oil pump that's all set to go too. So I have two of them. One's a spare just in case I need it where a problem happens, I don't have to wait around for an oil pump because it's a one-shot deal welded right to the pump. So when I get these rebuilt, I'll send them right back to Doug Griffo at Precision Oil Pumps and he'll take care of them. So we're not really gonna talk about high volume versus standard volume oil pumps. Uh, I think I'm gonna use a standard volume oil pump on the Boss 427, Cleveland we'll call it. It's a Track Boss 427, that whole build is come to a screeching halt now for 
the years. We'll, we'll move on to that topic in a little bit. So what I wanted to do was show you what's inside a Precision Oil Pump's oil pump. Now, you've seen them before. You may even run one yourself. He blueprints them, cleans them, clearances them. Even the gears are supposed to be coated. So I said, Doug, why don't you let me cut one of these apart on a camera, on a video, and show the guys what's in it. And uh, he said, yeah, why don't you, Tim, do it? And then you guys can kind of see what they have to contend with and what they're getting for their money. But people talk about doing these oil pumps, taking them apart themselves, clearancing them, making sure all the gears are mint, going through all that kind of stuff, which is great. And I think if you got the time, go for it. But in my case, it ain't worth it for me to spend whatever they are, hundred and something bucks for, for a brand new pump that I'm never gonna have to worry about. That's what I'm doing. Now, one of the things I had Stuffs do was make an extra pickup for me for the pan since that one had broken, but I don't know. I, I think it should be a little bit longer. It just looks too small to me. And I said I'd make one and if I don't use it, I don't use it, but we'll see how that goes. Now, like I said, by the time you go through your own oil pump, get one and buy it, get it shifty and go through all that business, and then kind of blueprint it yourself, you might as well just buy one from Doug Garifo. Get it done. You don't have to worry about it. It's probably going to be just as good or better than what you would do yourself. And you ain't got to waste time on it. You know? Smells a little burnt, but I'll tell you, really? It ain't that bad for having the engine go bad. Take out the bearings. Because that's how you take them out. Yeah, but I can, there's, there's a coating on these gears too. I'll bring it up so you can see it. All right, guys, so I'll show you kind of an up close. And you can see here, you can see there is a coating on there. I'll see if, if you can appreciate a coating on here. You can kind of see it has got some wear in the area on the rotors, but that's what they look like. And inside, it looks pretty clean. So Doug takes care of each pump. Deburrs everything, smooths out all the passages. I can feel that. That looks good. He also does the gears, cleans them up, matches them. The whole thing has been coated. You can see the outside. Now that coating has some areas of wear. Is that normal? I suspect. We'll see what he says. Any way you look at it, it works pretty good. And I think the difference between the high volume and the standard volume is the length of the rotor from here to here. You guys can comment about that stuff. But there you go, guys. That's what's inside Precision Oil Pump's high volume blueprinted oil pump. So I'm gonna actually put this back together and I'm gonna ship it to them. I'll send it back to them and get it taken care of and get it rebuilt. Because we're gonna use this in the next build with Bob Beach, which is gonna be a high court Cleveland. And you can see the cylinder heads in the back. Those are next up on the shelf to start working on. So yeah, I'll get this put back together. I'll send this back to Doug, get him to go through it again, do whatever he's gotta do, send it back to me. Cause you know what? We're gonna put this oil pump in. The pro stock Cleveland build that Bob Beach and I are gonna start right now well not right now because i'm doing this but the block's already chosen i'm going to start doing the work on that i already have the pistons for it the high port cylinder heads are back there 
That's going to be my first set to work on and flow, and we're going to see what those flow on a flow bench. And I got the oil pump right here. I got the, I'm going to use that same oil pan I've always used and get a different pickup. So stay tuned. Lots going on here. Mrs. Drag Boss's Mustang there. I got the G-Force transmission already mocked up with everything. Got the right transmission mount. Uh, it, it's it's going to be choice, man. I'm telling you right now. I already moved the shifter back, so that clears the dash well. And the next is going to be painting the inside of the car and then ordering the clutch and flywheel for it. And I'm going with, a, I think, a Concept 10.5. Thanks, Chris. Got the G-Force transmissions, long shifters. So stay tuned to Drag Boss Garage where you're always seeing and learning something new.